Come here. A tenth pick with only like 20 seconds left always feels very bad to be uh, in this position. Such hard heroes to kill, and uh, I, am, I don't think he just has anything to do up here. I'm kind of surprised they're not trying to make any sort of a switch, but I guess at the same time, they just know they're not going to win that. Oh, jump off. They could get this. Nice. Nice. That's needed. It's like, mind control is just going to take it. I think Puppy's looking to try and change something in the mid lane before we is able to get that divided we stand. Uh, difficult to get the right positioning on this. I remember I was listening this morning and Sidrid said, uh, well, I think Evoker would have preferred three creeps to that kill on Yapsor. And I was like, damn, dude, Dota. <laughs> They're going to use Nisha as bait. Uh, Kuro walked underneath the Radiant Ob's ward. Actually, no, they're not, because Puppy's not ready yet to fight. So now Kuro will come in to try and take his own battle. Uh, Necro's going to die, because that's just what happens when Miracle... He's gone. He's gone, jungle. Miracle? Yeah, a, uh, a Necrophobe's behind in the lane is, is not great. He's, he's just gone. Yeah, I'm surrounded you, again. You got level two brain sap. He, okay, well, the Illumina didn't connect, so that didn't help out too much, but I suppose it will still work with Miracle finishing the job. And we has missed a double damage farming jungle. Oh, MC. <laughs> Can't even keep his courier alive now. There's still more net worth. He thought it wasn't real because GH took so much damage. Yeah, that, that blast doesn't work on Courier. Um, and GH is well behind the lines. He knew he couldn't TP out, so he had to die to the Centaur, but both supports. I secret. Yaps are at the bottom. Niche at the top. We'll get a bottle of Arcana in here, too. And uh, it is... Uh, we haven't really talked that much about the morph, but it's an excellent morph game. Miracle? Oh, the Reaper Scythe. Oh, it holds him just long enough so Yapsaw can finish him with the last point of the battery assault. As I hit in the ghost trap, meanwhile in the dire jungle, Puppy came up pretty far, but he's come into Wii Zone. Trying to run it out with a level one nature's attendance. Wii doesn't have Earthbind. He's got no way to control Puppy, he continues to heal, and now even the courier. Oh my control, not again! It's the second time Puppy has killed that courier. I think he murdered like eight couriers in the first series today. Oh man, he was he was on a mission. Chalk up another two so far. Both of them belong to the poor mind control. Now, GH wasn't able to save top territory. Ensure that those are going to be saved for your Meepo. And he's going to feel confident as well as uh, available to rotate, right? Like, by defending this tower, Weeha, you never know just how close he could be to help out if you try and dive onto this coddle. Mm -hmm. Safe place for supports. That's a good thing to be. Miracle? I'll up a little bit further. And uh, now... The Looking for some control, they've got it. Locking him in position, another quick slide of fist down. Spirit away to safety, Kuro Mind Control have arrived. Mind Control's got the ulti available. He can blow up Puppy if he just blinks the Sonic Wave. He'd like to get a little bit more, and they just want to ensure they can kill the Enchantress while Zion's in the neighborhood. They're even cleaning through the heavy stacks. Nightmare, now's your time to let rip. Everyone's grouped up nicely, but do they have enough to finish the job? Mind Control still with the mana available, but Matumba doesn't they might care. They both posts now, though. They need like well, to all try and four capture seconds. this right now. Yapsil's giving it a shot. Matumba will join him. The capture's too late. Oh, yeah. oh man, if Zaya joined, would they got that? Maybe. Sonic! North. There's MC! Killing off Nisha, they weren't ready for it! My god, that sound effect ripples the ears. Zai even still a little bit low there, but... Oh yeah, he got, man, again, just narrowly not in over on clockwork. He wanted to just fiend grip Zion, let Miracle finish the job. Yapso always there to help out a core. And they're going again. Searing chains, brain sap, still not damage to kill off Zai instantly, but they get the job done. Kuro is the man to claim the kills. They go into the cogs, trying to battle with the Yapso. GH wants to help him out. No points in blinding light, and with the spirit, now it's just an urn. Because he, he started the animation for Blink. Really considering having a crack at him. I don't think so, right? He's only, yeah, he's only got the 300 magic plus the 340 pure, so it's it's pretty darn tough. Mm. Well, the Absolute Murky move for mid. Waveform in. The Ignis already down from GH. That was nice and quick. More Meepos looking to come in, but they're all trapped inside the Clockwork Cogs. They can't break themselves free just yet. Now they will on the run over towards Nisha. Sonic Wave pushing him back. He's strength morphing as quick as he can to go up the hill. The Centaur stun from Puppy keeps one of the Meepos away. But who's the next target? Nightmare Zai left behind by the rest of his team under the tier one tower. He will sustain as long as he can.
But death comes if he uh, can't risk it quite as much. The, the Meepo uh, shows the power. It's like knocking down a tower if you take a bad fight like that anywhere near an objective. That can, of course, be Roche, too, as we are 14 minutes in the game, and Meepo's uh, no stranger to that. <laughs> oh, clockwork. Hook shots in. If you give him one player down, he'll be less inclined to go for Roshan, but GH is the easy blinding light. Falls him back out of the cogs. Abaddon, nightmare up. I love how he still hasn't leveled up borrowed time. Not required until essential. Yeah, he's holding the point, too, right? Didn't take the talent, either. Yep. Oh my god, Ember needs help. Uh, no blinding light. Uh, Kuro, nightmare, something, save. <laughs> Team, rather. Mm -hmm. the, the ransack. I try and set up a bait on top lane. Star Observer was really good looking at Puppy, but Fiend's Crypt, Nisha. Puppy's trying to come over to help out, and I think he's just realizing I gotta back off. Is there actually help to come? Side of Fist Searing Chains, now they can move to another target. So not just one, but two kills for Nygma. Now racking up. The rockets gave him, give him a lot of information. Abaddon's now oh, running in, Alves with it, and GH gets the body block, he keeps clockwork out, the cogs do come down, but it actually traps in Abaddon, so we now can finish Roshan, and now they move to another target, while GH has a little bit more time, thanks to the Ignis, they caught the clockwork on the edge of this, and now Nygma is their turn, do they want to try and fight? Nope, let Kuro die and back the hell up, a double kill for Matumba. Let's fight. The Clockwork yeah. Rockets, Hellbear, Hellbear Scouters, they're looking for him, but under the cover of smoke, now Zai, they're gonna find the fight. But, can they take it? <laughs> Clockwork, yeah, hookshots forward. And he's found GH. Cog pushes him back up, and now Meepo so quickly jumping onto Yamsaw. And Zai should be very happy you managed to avoid that, that uh, Earthbind, but the Fiends nice. won't avoid nice that. Forward. Observer Ward sees everything. Spirit Committal forward. Puppy's looking to help out by bringing the Centaur over, but even gets Searing chained up after Zai is brought down. Yeah. Looking for more. Yeah, they're, they're not just like committing straight for the tower. Uh, and the wave's coming through, but they. Wait. E Blade. I'll not break the Aegis, the Immortal. My control's got Sonic Wave available too. The Centaur moving in. Able to stun pretty much. Nope, they kill it off nice and quickly. Combining with the Ignis, clearing out all the trees. No way for Morphling to hide. Bar time will break once again. As the Searing Chain stole and Nietzsche making life a living hell and gets Searing up himself. And Yabsol wants initiation. 10 seconds till hook shot. Shotgun. Already got the Nether Shawl available too. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Courier has been killed. Puppy, uh, Radiant I mean, he's Wait, so are they gonna do it again? A while ago. Look at, look at how rich he is, too. Is they're, gonna, they're gonna kill Puppy. Oh, the outpost! My good... Nice. But, uh, yeah, Zai has been, like, holding mid for a while. Puppy's been hitting these side lanes a lot and has that Necro and is thinking about the Crimson Guard, too, to help out. <laughs> Still missing these spirit vessels. Zai. Radiant. He's out way too far again. Mind control. He was really thinking about letting the Sonic Wave go, but he hasn't even had to do it. Koro, Nightmares, one Fiend's Grips up. Nisha, the perfect control combination. Nothing that Yamsaw can do to save his teammate. And Koro just out. Oh, that, that's, that's a show of the Bane's power, that's for sure. Remember that uh, range control? Oh, hi, Matumba. I'm gonna try and break Radiant. his borrowed time. Kuro can just nightmare him up, and uh, they just wait this out. Miracle committed in. Zion's gonna join this fine too, but how much can he really give? Matumba just explodes right? all the way to here, and now underneath the tier 2 tower, Zion just has to wait his executioner, which is the Meepo. Oh, that was, uh, that was a bit of a uh, problem. Well, Aegis or not, they are still much stronger in these games. Block. A hook shot right where Kuro had his big moment. He will be punished. Well, Miracle's looking at it. They dropped down the Ignis as well. Sonic wave from mind control. Yamsaw Sen reeling. The Ignis will pulse once again. Nisha strength morphing up as much as he can. 3.7k HP. It's what he maxed out to. And they still work their way through it. Even another pulse to make sure Matumba's control. But it's Puppy that we focuses on. Trying to move back down the mid lane with his army. Nisha. He is so far away from having a disc ball versus the Spirit Vessel too. And it's absolutely crushing him. Very good choice from GH. It would have been pretty tempting to get the Force Staff first, I'm sure. But without the Queen of Pain able to rush that Spirit Vessel, someone had to do it. So, good, good call by Secret. Like, I mean, they're always so good in their itemization, right? That's a, a thing that you can always point towards on them and being like, Oh, Wheeze down! Dropping too low on the Meepo. The Reaper's Scythe loves opportunities like this. Dead for such a huge amount of time. 
And Zai gets 730 gold from it and yaps all once more. Clockwork hook shutting forward. Cox pushing back GH. So his blinding light can't just be a defensive thing. Yeah. Kuro can give some friendly uh nightmare help, but doesn't save GH's life here. Yeah, and there's the punish, right? For not getting the first effort where I, I thought he was gonna go down. Yeah, he's kinda of pushing into the limit there and uh, but he knew when to fold it and just like run back to the base too. He's already finished up the hood now. Time to TP in to be part of this fight. As uh, Zion Puppy getting caught out by Miracle Kuro and GH, but they're trying to focus on Matumba. We're waiting this one out, keeping Matumba out of the fight. He'll be able to finish the job, and he's going to get back over the rest of his team. He's already done a pretty damn good job locking down Puppy. Even the Earthbind controls Yamsaw. So four heroes from Secret lost. They would love a fifth. Moving near Roshan, he'll spawn in one second time, and Weeha just checks it three seconds too early, but Spirit Committal, they go off the high ground. First initiation, combining with the Ignis, three heroes to all be caught out, and the Sonic Wave! Mind Control ensures the Disable remains! Maybe there's some extra life from Matumba, but once again, we perfect the Micro Control ensures that no extra life is really given from the borrowed time. Double kill for him, Zai will fall too, and three heroes dead for so long. They seem to know where Yapsor is too, because MC was uh, uh, hunting up here. Miracle now too. I saw some pings from GH. Found oh, him. I saw the flares. Underneath the Dire Observer Ward, they surround him, push him over towards Miracle. Cog him up. Hook shot over. <laughs> he goes into Roshan. Oh, it would have been nice if he denied himself, but he'll give Wii a 14th kill. <laughs> what a noble effort. Hey, it. It kind of goes by the, the nature of his uh, teammates, too. And just mm -hmm. what he needs out of them. Or what he needs to give them, I guess, too, in terms of how they tend to be a little bit greedy. Especially Miracle, of course. But uh, you want to give him that greed so he can perform. Well, it's uh, never new. Oh, clockwork. Watch us forward. Miracle. Whoa! Um, bye! Um. <laughs> Really hit hard. Zaya's gonna run in pretty deep, feeling confident. Emisper is now gonna buy back as well. He's gonna TP out to the outpost to get to the front lines as Zaya just has nothing really to work with. He can't try it up. There's Yule Scepters for the, uh, for the Meeper. And now they look for Matumba. Borrowed time gone, so Kuro lets the Fiend's grip rip. Both heroes dead for two, uh, for, well, it's an easy push now for the Meeper. Radiance top yeah, the confidence too of Miracle to say, yeah, we're good. I mean, the E-Blade, they're kind of treating the E-Blade almost like an ultimate in this, right? Where they're just saying, okay, it's on cooldown, now go. Oh, just like swarm them. Nisha found his target. Catching right, GH so in the back lines. It's the racks. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Yapsaw, Nightmare, Bane trying to break his way free, so we kind of get totally controlled. Yapsaw, Ice Edge trying to hookshot himself forward, but they've already moved on to Puppy. We knows one Kiro kill doesn't end this game now. Two, however, will definitely help out. And again, back lines, GH, run! Run, GH! <laughs> if GG survived, they has, he'll survive 30 minutes. Team Nigma take game one again. Secret looking to protect their top ranking in Group A. Secret haven't dropped the game. Pick. I'm just gonna like, I look at. It, I'm just like, no, nah, that doesn't look that good. Uh, I think I'm like some big dog hero. Yeah, I was just big dog. The, mm -hmm. He's looking to punish though. Probably also hoping for a courier to be coming through, right? He's going to enchant him. And Nisha needs to connect over on the torrent. And he'll ensure it with the... Uh, I think he's going to get it. <laughs> uh, I, I think. Yep. Lines him up for the tiebringer. Level two. And now the TP from Mirana. Um, uh, <laughs> instantly into Arrow. And GH is already back to uh, one third of his HP. Well, meanwhile, the connection looks to have been uh, successful. Oh, miracle? Oh, man, he got that pull through? How the hell did he... He just wraps it around, like, everything? But Yapto's in trouble. The Shadow Word's going to kill him. Kuro just stood in the tree lines. Miracle could tank through it. And Zai, because he didn't put a single point up in Magic Missile, uh, he's gone for the 0-1-2 build, which is... Yeah, not, not bad, uh, but he didn't yeah, have the extra control. Because he, he knows that Miracle's just going to have the, the the counter spell after, like, sure, maybe he'll get one on him, but then he'll just take the early counter spell or whatever. Mm -hmm. How's my oh. control doing in mid? Like, Beastmaster, what coming there is not. Doesn't feel like there's enough mana as well in Matumba to finish that job. Yeah, the, the damage is not quite there. But uh, still a lot of harassment. I mean, that boar's still going. It's not going to be able to help Matu in lane two and mm -hmm. almost kill that other boar. 
GH on top. Leap forward with a Starfall. Nisha losing so much life, but he's got seven one charge available. GH, oh, he's going deep. Oh, he leaps away. We can actually try and dodge that damage. Either way, Remnant from Yamsa will now arrive and punish this very heavily diving Nigma dual offlane. Trying to dive the 14 armor Kunkka, probably not going too well. And now Kunkka feels nice on almost 3.2k net worth and feeling so confident he's going for a Radiance. Six and a half minutes in, he's queued it up. Zai has to wind up here, but it's still gonna fall. Miracle? Oh, baby, no blink. Yeah, yeah. Are, are you really dead when you're a vengeful spirit? We are at least able to double warden sentry you planted down. He wanted to make sure if he was being watched or not, but now enchanted. Maybe not so great. Trying to get up in the air, but the troll trap's already available. The boat's coming in too from Nisha. We are X marked back into it, and there is no support coming to this tier one tower. They are all currently busy, and you can still get concerned about him. GH gonna wander through here, planting some vision. I know there's something up here. Look, 300 yep. HP. Ah, oh. couldn't mess up the combination, but he's got leap number one. Has no lead number two. Is under attack. <laughs> Got him. Ah. For the free pick Dyer's down bottom, there's one point in the attack. counter spell. Oof. And there's also no chaotic offering here, so whoever gets X should be dead. Well, Tarn's coming in. Boat's also arriving. Animage needs a little extra help. And Dark, can he? No, he can't. A one charges were there. That would have given swapping over. He doesn't have magic missile. He just wants to close the distance and look for Cora. Dude, he's losing over one season. <laughs> There's your secondary swap. Into the tarrant. And not much Kura can do about that. But maybe there's some rebuttals. Nisha gets a double kill on bottom. But Puppy, he is trying to run away from both GH as well as we are. Jump to the other side of the leap. But they'll chase him through the trees. And there is very little Puppy can do about this. Wait, but look at the tower. You'll die to the tower. There's someone like Miracles. He's trying to jungle. Works nicely. As long as he can keep the wave back, get some extra levels. Weeha. Zai gonna swap him. Kuro is nearby. Zai lends the magic missile. Yamsaw is nearby as well with his level 6. They're gonna upheaval as quick as they can as Batrider. Weeha just does not have the sustain. He's a boot sage and windlace. That's uh, that's all. There is not a to Now Kanka will also look for his own opportunity. Kuro trying to hang around. The turret is going to connect into the magic missile with Wave of Terror. But Tumble will arrive. The Absol will make sure he's going to stay where he is. In fact, the Rem never even gets... And they're trying to bait out Puppy here. The Miracle is getting space to get to his Battle Fury. And I always get concerned about like a farming anti-mage. Weeha yeah. going for the fight in mid. But three years are already there. You've got Beastmaster coming in through the rear. But all he can hunt right now is Couriers. And he will kill off Nisha. He just wanted delivered. <laughs> Did you know the puppy is being chased down? Raw, nope. X mark spot. Mind control is now going to be the one initiated. He's got his necrobooks down. Let's the raw offer on Zai, but that won't help you. The arrow only even hits. Now they're going to hunt GH. <laughs> nope. Leaps down. Random from Yapsaw. Hit him. And then Yapsaw can just actual step down. GH will leap up. And then Jack back down again. Thanks to X mark. He's got one more leaping in. Well, the lasso is doing its thing underneath the tier one tower. Ventral Spirit will die. They uh, started chasing the Marana. And they're even making sure the VS is totally down. <laughs> kill kill off the Vengeful Spirit. Sticky Napalm him again? Nope, not going to do it. He's going to reveal his position if he uh, really sticks with this. I think he's just here to die. He was uh, looking around. <laughs> Drop the GG tree. To get the farm on the mid wave. Uh, to stop the Yapsa from pushing it back out again. He'll deny that mid tier one tower as well. But on top, top, top lane, that's cool! Flame breaking back into the lasso, but they don't have extra control. Kuro's waiting with the upheaval. Matumba's got no movement speed. Now, ship, torrent, combo, everything. Nietzsche's gonna try and keep Matumba alive. He's so low on life, but finally they bring him down. Nietzsche's TP out. Anyone gonna stun? Anyone? No. Nope. I guess you'd just try to kill off the vengeful spirit instead. And Zai, there goes number one. Miracle committing with the mana void to get it. And we are still trying to run from this vengeful spirit. The arrow will stop the spirit. You get 20 only for that? That doesn't oh, feel oh, worth. Wait. Is he TPing home? Oh, I wonder. Did he know? Radiance courier. Yeah, so was lurking killed. there. Does take down the uh, the courier there? That was being done. Not by a stats man. Koro. That's a little close. The torrent's gonna connect. Send him up. X mark him down. They want to make sure the rock's not available. And it won't be for 32 small seconds. <laughs> Loved about um 
uh, like OG. I think that that was like the the thing I always like looked at, like Anna and uh, and Thompson, where it didn't matter like what lane you were in. You knew your job. You knew what you needed to do. It, that, that's that's all that mattered. Uh, who's gonna be enabled at what time? Go. Gotcha. Where are we going? Ah, uh, we're going home. <laughs> uh, we're going to Beastmaster. Who's gonna get picked off? Trying to get the outpost, but uh, Zion Yamsol working together. My control tries to run it off, but that's not going to happen. At least he has his Vlads now. To, to push out lanes is the same thing for Zai, too. So if they, they can always kind of pressure as to, oh, I don't know if it's safe to lasso this guy, right? Because they don't know where those two are. Oh, it's 15 minutes. Yeah, this is the uh, the good kind of AFK farming anti-mage. Because it's, it's the only way this game's going to go your way. As we Number one that was now. The Absor chain stun and easily burnt down. So they're able to fight. But they also keep moving underneath Radiant Vision. In this case, Zai actually battling underneath two Radiant Observers and Sentries. Phantom Lance is now going to move himself over the Mana Void. Zai, so much damage done to him. Atomic just wants to back out of this one. They've still got the Vengeful Spirit battling for up on the hill. Now, Kung Kung's Rum. Nisha tries to create some extra space, but Kuro, Fatal Bonds is now out on Matumba as well as Nisha. The focus on Matumba is the primary target. Miracle would love to get himself for kill, and he will be able to get it on the big one. Someone's got to take care of that VS if you want supports to live. But I suppose you can just keep hunting other kills if you want them. Yeah, Yapsor gets back to the tier 2 tower. Play around the Remnant Miracle. I love the blink to the bottom side of the tower, knowing Yapsor's gonna have that spirit position. Arrows fly forward. Yapsor's got one more step, and he's going backwards. But Miracle can keep up with him. Always with a blink of Valm. We'll dissimilate. Back up into the trees we go. Just being a nuisance. GH will finally put him down. I can't believe Kuro's actually managed to live for so long. He's got extra help. The Moonlight Shadow means underneath the Sentry Ward. They have to roar to control up Poppy so he doesn't kill off Kuro. Nisha wants his own, or Zai wants his own fight. He's TP'd himself in, let off the dust, but Enchantress flame breaked back, just forever being controlled. Puppy wants out, but the only out is death. Light edge, and he becomes this like crippling, just festering illusion boss that runs over your whole team. But obviously, the, the jump was all Nigwas, and now they're reaping the rewards. And another jump. Star. Oh, Ooh, trying to clip him, but the VS swap's already there. Flame break almost pushing Zai up on the hill as well. The BKB con combination against Weehan not gonna work. Thanks for BKB. Matamba, Fatal Bonds. Oh god, they're all linked up again. They've got to be so careful. At least Yabsaw can get out of it with the Yule. Scepter can't say the same about everybody else. But maybe Yabsaw can do something. Yes, he does. He jumps in the back line to kill off GH. But the bigger problem is Miracle. Gets the basher over on Puppy. A little slow on the attack. We'll finally have to guess, get rid of Puppy's minions. He'll jump in to find Nisha. Weeha sticking with him. No mana void available, but they've got the damage, especially when they get the bash underneath the tier 3 towers. Weeha actually burns him with the Firefly. That didn't feel like it should have been his kill. Yapsol, where's he going? He actually tries to bait with the Remnant to the north and jumping south. Another quick actual set, but Miracle blinks in. First hit, Bash. Finding yet another kill, but Zai does end the spree with the, uh, with the Vengeful Spirit. Yeah, I'm sure that's still getting a little bit annoying, but uh, still... 31 minutes in. The closest to him is right 18. Now, this could easily be numerous heroes going down. Raw, not nah, just blink in Abyssal Blade. They want to remove Zai, and they're able to do so very, very liberal with the ultimate, yeah, but they blink forward. Him. He wants a big target. <laughs> he got him. He got the Kunker. Pull him back in again. Look for the Bash. It's a rock and fatal bonds. Team Secret are connected. All three heroes together. Puppy wants a TP out, but no clumsiness there to stop that from Weeha. And a couple of illusions from PL are trying to stop this unbelievable momentum from Nigma, but they're not really helping out that much. They come. I am very impressed. They just completely dodged Secret and kept this game going. Very impressive. Sure, they threw a couple bodies on the lanes to keep Miracle farming, but mm -hmm. that was a seriously impressive feat from Nigma. Well, they're going to take top, top racks. The Absol doesn't have a TP to go home. Matumba was distracted trying to, but Weeha was even able to force off and get his Blink Dagger off cooldown and get away to safety. The only thing that's really stopping him is, uh, well, more kills. The Absol, dissimilate. <laughs> Bye. They who live by the wand. A full butterfly on him. A Sakura. My. Yeah, they're ready to push. 
smoke it up. Look for a target. Blink a piss of late. Yep, Soros deleted. 52 seconds without buyback available. Nisha starts his TP in and we are. Look how quickly did he move. But he wants the other one. He wants Zai. Pulling back over the arrow. He'll also connect with the upheaval and another fatal bonds. A quick doppelganger will allow at least Matalman to escape, but you can't say the same thing about Bubby. Out of mana, out of life, and out of luck in game two. It looks like Nygma have this one very firmly shoved into the bag. GG. Very good traffic. Both teams are from Nygma. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a, a big outdraft or something. That second one, I mean, sure, maybe the Meepo was uh, a bit Radiant. difficult to, to swallow after the draft, but mm -hmm. uh, giving Miracle one of his heroes, one, one of these ways that he can get control over.